Hey friends, in this video I will guide you how we can disable the null session functionality for your uh, Windows environment. Basically this is very critical vulnerability for your organizations if you re just receive the uh, information from the security team and they said that this is very crit critical so you need to just implement this uh, null session disabling uh, features for your all servers for your all windows environment so uh, this is very very difficult if you are just going to do it manually on each and every servers so i always recommend you to just create a group policy that will help you to disable the null session functionality within your windows environment so how we can do it so just click on the uh, group policy management console just open it and uh, uh, just click a group policy so assign the name because we are going to create a group policy for disabling null session so you can assign the name similarly how we are giving but if you are providing some other names like server hardening or some other names like server hardening null session it completely depends on you how you are assigning the name for your group policy uh, for null session disabling so i am just going to assign the name null session disable underscore i am just assigned the name null session disable click on ok this group policy has been created now i need to just edit this group policy and i will guide you what are the options that we need to take care while configuring uh, null session disable for your windows environment so uh, basically this can be done through the computer configuration policy so i will expand the policy inside the computer configuration now click on the windows settings expand it security settings basically this is the part of security settings so just i open this security settings now we'll go on the local policies and security options here there are the five settings that we need to take care for disabling the null session first is network access so first we need to just go on the network inside the security options itself network access and restrict anonymous access to named pipe and share so this is the first uh, first settings that we will uh, enable inside the security options so i am just searching this restrict anonymous named pipe yes this is the policy which we have enabled it and if you want to if you want to learn about the informations about this one so just click on the explain and you will get the informations about the uh, the policy which we are just going to modifying now click on ok and the next policy one is completed now we'll go on the uh, second one that is do not allow anonymous enumeration of sam account that we need to also check this do not uh, do not allow this one yes we need to just enable this policy as well click on yes and uh, third one is this one in the third one it is asking do not allow anonymous enumeration of some accounts and share so i guess this is the same policy which we are just going to modify so i'm just yes this is the correct one now i need to just enable this one do not allow anonymous enumeration of sam accounts and share so this will help us to uh, enable the settings it will not allow to enumerate your your uh, certain activities including accessing share network share and domain name accounts as well so i'm just going to click on ok so this three policy has been configured now we need to also disable few settings that is uh, network access let everyone permissions 
basically this will help us to block the everyone permissions for uh, for anonymous users to access the shared drive inside your infrastructure so click on ok and similarly I need to also block the allow anonymous SID name translation this says allow this one so this will help us to block the sit to name and name to SID translation for your infrastructure for anonymous users so I'm just going to click on OK this should be disabled so there are the two policy which we have disabled first is allow anonymous SID name translation second is let everyone permissions apply to anonymous users so this is very critical if you are working in your environment so this policy should be apply uh, for your infra windows infrastructure so everyone you will be uh, will be denied while accessing shared drive for your infrastructure and similarly this is also critical so you have to enable these five settings for disabling the null session for your windows infrastructure so once you close this policy editing so now just click on the policy inside the group policy objects here you can check the settings which you have configured so there are the five settings which we have edited inside the null session disable group policy and once you have uh, created or configured your group policy so this should be apply uh, first on your test environment test servers or non-critical servers and later you can uh, assign or you can link this policy for your complete windows servers or windows infrastructure or your domain wide level so I'm just going to assign or link this existing policy this is the policy which we have assigned now if you click on the scope you can see this policy has been applied for your domain environment domain info alias dot local similarly you can also check once you create this group policy just apply it on a specific organizational unit where you have few servers like one or two servers later you can uh, you can just uh, link this group policy on top of your domain so this will be apply for your complete domain similarly how we did in our infrastructure in folias.local thank you for watching this video